Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita Reddy, Consultant Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon of Kim's Cardless Hospitals, Gachibowli. I am Dr. Ramya Valivero, a breast oncosurgeon working with Kim's Hospitals, Gachibowli. Today, Dr. Ramya and I are here to discuss about common breast issues that we see on our day-to-day -day practice. Dr. Ramya, so I have patients who keep asking if they have dense breasts, is it a chance that they develop cancer? So uh, basically density of breasts is nothing but the glandular tissue that one has in their breasts. So it is natural for everyone to have dense breasts in their younger age groups. So once a lady becomes postmenopausal, we expect this glandular tissue to be replaced by fat and thereby the density should come down. But in some women, despite being postmenopausal, the density of the glandular tissue remains like that of in reproductive age. Those women are at slightly higher risk for development of cancer than the women who, whose breasts become uh, less dense or uh, fat increases. What if uh, women want to know their options apart from the mammograms that are routinely available to know if they have a chance of developing breast cancers, if they have a family history of developing breast cancers? So if a lady has family history of breast cancer in more than uh, two individuals in close relatives, so then we can do actually genetic testing in these women. So first the patient who has been affected with cancer has to be tested. We do a breast panel on their uh, blood sample. So a sample of blood is taken. On that we run a few genetic tests and then when the, once the results are out for the patient, then that test will be repeated in the individuals who still have not been affected with cancer who might be lodging that mutation. That means the change in the genetic material. So this can be done by a blood sample uh, called as a genetic testing for hereditary breast cancer risk. Now, what do you advocate? How often should women in general population get screened? So uh, Indian uh, Breast Imaging Society of India recommends every lady after 40 years of age should screen her breasts every year. So uh, women bef below 40 years of age, starting maybe from the age 18, can do breast self-examination as a screening method. But women above 40 should uh, do every year annual screening. We see a lot of women coming with ultrasound reports showing fibroadenomas. So do all fibroadenomas of the breast need excision? No, actually fibroadenomas are very, very common. So as you just mentioned, many women have small and some women have bigger fibroadenomas. Some women have multiple, about 10% of the patients who have fibroadenomas have multiple in both the breasts. So we need not operate all these fibroadenomas. In fact, these are just overgrowths because of hormone hypersensitivity. We only operate if they are increasing in size, say more than 3.5 centimeters or so, or if we feel that they are atypical or if there are any high risk features or if, they if the woman is very concerned about getting them removed. Otherwise, we don't need to uh, remove all these fibroadenomas. We can just keep them under close follow up. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Ramya and I were quite helpful with your questions today. If you have more such questions, get in touch with us through Kim's Cuddles. Thank you.